Greetings, Professor Hobo here with a product update about the Jackery Explorer 300. So Jackery has been pretty sneaky lately. They keep slipping out updates in their products without telling anybody about it. In fact, I didn't even know about this update until their management told me, hey, by the way, there's a new Jackery Explorer 300 out. We've been selling it and it has this new feature. And I said, hey, send me one and I'll do a video about it. Now this is gonna be a feature that probably isn't super popular right now, but is gonna be very useful down the road. And that is the 60 watt power delivery on this is now bi-directional. That means you can pump 60 watts in as well as get 60 watts out. Now obviously you can't do that simultaneously, but it does offer some options. Now you can actually use a solar panel that has a 60 watt or higher power delivery to charge the Jackery. So you don't need to use the wonky eight millimeter port. That's gonna give you some more solar charging options. Or you can get something like this, which is a 60 watt power delivery charger. This came with EcoFlow, one of their EcoFlow products, but I keep it around because it allows me to charge at 60 watts from AC wall outlet. So let's plug this in. AC wall outlet, I have a USB-C cable here. We plug it right in and let's see what kind of power we get. And what's interesting, you'll note, is that the light turns blue over here over top of the eight millimeter port, even though there's nothing plugged into it. But it's telling you that it's charging. And you'll see pretty quickly that it ramps up to about 53 watts. Now that's typical charge for a 60 watt power delivery. It's usually like 56, 57 watts is about all you really pull out. Um, and then there's a little bit of loss to the conversion inside the Jackery. So 53 watts is about what you can expect. Do take note that this power delivery cable is not included with the Jackery. A lot of power stations when they offer bi-directional charging will include this cable, but Jackery is not including this cable yet, so you'll need to buy that separately if you plan to use this feature. Now what comes with the Jackery Explorer 300 is what has always come with, the 12 volt charger cable and the AC power cable. Now I already know a question I'm gonna get asked. Can you power delivery charge this while you charge it from the eight millimeter at the same time? Let's find out. Okay, now we have the Explorer 300 being charged from the eight millimeter port from the AC wall outlet. Let's plug in the power delivery and see what happens. Well, look at what we have here. We're now charging the Jackery Explorer 300 at 121 watts. That's a lot for something this size. So what does that mean for you? That means you can now, and check this out, simultaneously charge the Jackery from AC and DC, or multiple DC sources, or multiple AC sources. Now, let me go ahead and clarify each one of those three. So first, dual AC sources. That's what we're doing right now in this demonstration. I'm using the AC wall charger, and I'm also using an AC wall charger for the power delivery. So I have two plugs plugged into the wall and it's providing two sources of input for the Jackery Explorer 300. And they do combine. So that means we can charge from a car port. So we can go ahead and remove this, plug this in, and then charge the Jackery from 12 volt car and power delivery at the same time. So let's say you have another AC power source, for example, this little Jackery 160. Well, we can turn on the AC power, plug in our power delivery charger, and it allows us to drain the power from this and put it into our Jackery Explorer 300. Now there's certain situations where you might wanna do this. So what about dual DC charging? What would be the point of that? Well, let's use a real world example. I get this question a lot. Can I use a larger power station to charge a smaller power station? Well, in this case, yes you can with very little loss. Now some people in the past would have to use the AC outlets and the AC charger to charge this. So there's a lot of waste involved in that. First, there's waste to the inverter. So converting DC to AC waste power. Then you're converting it from AC back to DC to charge the power station. So you're getting lost twice. If you do this direct DC to DC charging, in the past, you can only use a 12 volt cigarette lighter to charge a smaller Jackery. So I have this larger Jackery charging the smaller Jackery using the 12 volt plug. Well, this is gonna be the most efficient way because there's no AC, DC, DC, AC conversion. It's all DC. Now with just the cigarette lighter port, 
you're getting 79 watts of charging. But now, you can plug this into a solar panel that supports power delivery, or in this case, the Jacker Explorer 1000's USB-C port. Now, this is not a high output USB-C port, so we're not gonna see a huge increase over here, but let's see what we get. So it bumped up to 89 watts, so you get 10 watts of extra charging just by using this additional cable. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're in a hurry, 10 watts over a certain number of hours is gonna speed up the process. And you have to remember too that this is the most efficient way to charge a smaller Jackery from a larger Jackery. Now, this is obviously isn't limited to just Jackeries. Let's see what happens if we plug this into a power station that has a really high-end power delivery port. Down below here, I have a high-end power station that I've done many videos on. I'm not going to show it or talk about it but it has a regulated 12 volt output and a 60 watt power delivery port. I have them both hooked into the Jackery Explorer 300 and just look at what kind of wattage we're getting. If you can see that, it says 124 watts input. So we're getting about 90 from the DC cigarette loader port and the rest from the 60 watt power delivery port. That's exceptionally fast charging. So what does this really mean? That means that you could take a large power station, charge the little Jackery and take it with you to do smaller tasks and not lose all that extra power in the conversion from DC to AC to AC to DC. That also means you could use your much larger power station that takes much more solar, charge that with solar directly, and then charge this essentially with solar because you're charging your other one with solar. So you can see how this can be very versatile and actually allow you a lot more options than you never had before with a Jackery product. And that makes the Jackery Explorer 300 much more competitive in the micro solar generator market. Now there's also something else that's gonna make this little unit that much more competitive. So what could possibly make this Jackery Explorer 300 any better? How about a long-term price cut? That's right. For the next who knows how long, they just told me long term, they're knocking the price from $349 down to $299. So you're getting 50 bucks off indefinitely on the Jackery Explorer 300. That makes this very competitive. In fact, it's now going to knock a lot of other solar generators in this segment out of the park because of the dual charging and all the other features that this does have. And also the fact that it's like, stupid lightweight, very small and easy to deal with. And I did a full review on this product. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. I'm not gonna do a full review on this because really the only thing that's changed is the power delivery. And they've changed some of the design of it. It says Jack Rick Explorer 300 now instead of Power Outdoors. They changed some of the icons here. It does say in and out PD 60 watt. This now has the actual Qualcomm uh, for Quick Charge 3 icon on it, instead of sending Quick Charge, it's actually a Qualcomm. Um, that's a name brand. And then of course it has the regular USB port. Everything else is the same. So the only new real feature is that simultaneous 60 watt power delivery port. But wait, there's more. So what if you don't need all this fancy pants power delivery stuff and all these extra ports and dual outlets and stuff like that? You want something cheaper that's more basic? Well. They got you covered too. So the Explorer 240, which is identical in size to this, is gonna be cut 50 bucks too. So instead of charging 249, it's got a permanent long-term cut down to 199. So you can get the 240 with less features and a slightly smaller battery for 199, or you can get the state-of-the-art 300 with a bigger battery and more features for 299. So those are both entry level products for Jackery. They have this whole entry level, mid range level thing going on now for their marketing. And the 240 and 300 are considered their entry level products. And Jackery also has a short term sale on the Explorer 500. Typically it's 499, right now it's currently 419. I have no idea how long the sale's going on. They usually don't last more than a week or two. If you're interested in the 300, the 240, or the 500, I have all the links in the description. So you click those links below in the description and it'll take you to their website where you can get these at their new low prices. Now there is one last thing. So say you bought your Jackery Explorer 300 on your now special deal for 299 and you want to protect it. You want to carry it around, keep it dry, keep it out of the dust. Well, 
There's now a new bag. This bag actually works for the Jack Explorer 240 or the 300. It's a perfect fit. It does have a handle and it does have a strap that's available. I have it right here. I don't have it hooked up. But it is a nice little bag to protect your Jackery. It has dual zippers on the front. And of course it is the Jackery black and orange. It does have a little pocket on the inside, unlike the other bags, which, which allows you to put things inside of it, like the charger or 12 volt cable or whatever. And it is actually not foil lined. So it's pretty thick padding on all the sides and this extra on the bottom, which I think that's what that's for. Put that on the bottom and it gives you some extra padding if you drop the bag. So perfect fit, excellent way to protect your investment. And of course, if you're interested in the bag, there's a link in the description below. It'll take you to the Jackery site where you can pick one up. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey, Odin. How many Fs do you give about the new two-way power delivery from Jackery? Yeah, that's what I thought. RV Golf Guys, E-Fox Fire, Jack Smith.